Hi Sagittarius, hope everyone's doing well. I'm Ivy Rivera, Psychic Medium, coming to you with your monthly horoscope for July 2019. I want to invite you to join me for my live show on Facebook and Instagram. It's called Ask a Medium. I take your personal questions and I give your short scope for the week. That's going to be on July 16th at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I also have my annual summer sale running right now. That's buy one, get the second one 50% off. It expires on the 4th of July. So you can either click the link below or go to ivyriverapsychicmedium.com to take advantage of that. Sagittarius, what is going on with you for this month? On the 4th, I have a lot of parental energy around you. I have you analyzing your relationship with your parents. I have you analyzing the way that you've been raised. I have your parents needing you, whether they're living or deceased. A lot of interaction going on with them, literally or energetically, emotionally. And there's a sense of shifting here. There's a sense of uh, you becoming the matriarch or the patriarch. There's a sense of it going from, um, I want to say, parent to child and child to parent. And who is in the power position here and who is now in the caretaking position? A lot of questions surrounding this. And for those of you who've been dealing with heaviness in that particular area, I actually feel like you'll be getting a lot of answers and peace about how to approach that and what to do with it. Um, I wanna say that for some of you who feel like you're battling your parents, just try on that particular day to allow for the answers to come to you. Be an observer of the situation and not an absorber. Don't take it personally, but it's sort of like a scientific project, okay, on that particular day. Um, you will get the answers that you need in regards to your relationship with them and what it means for you and your future and how it's made you who you are. On the 11th, I have a lot of playfulness. I have a lot of games. I have a lot of sociability. I also have you oddly, like, often playing by yourself. So you may find yourself surrounded by a bunch of people or people want your company and you may have to say on that day, okay, I'll be here, but I'm really gonna have to just kind of be up in my head a lot of the time or that you need to process whatever it is that you're going through. For some of you, it feels like you're very highly empathic and that can mean that when you're around two or more people, you start to absorb their energy and it becomes toxic for you or upsetting for you, even if it was meant to be a fun event. So you're going to have to set proper boundaries and channel your energy wisely. I do feel that you're receiving a lot of prophetic and intuitive guidance on the 11th and again on the 13th as well as I want to say on the 27th so you're going to want to be mindful on those days that you are tuning out more from the left brain and the social engagement and tuning in more to the right side of your brain your intuitive self paying a lot of attention to your dreams on the 13th I have prosperity 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 money 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 coming in money also coming in from either an inheritance or like a you know a will an estate um, possibly some type of a contract something that is being given to you that has already been there in the past it's already earned or it's it's just um, in place but you haven't been able to have it okay so we have that coming in there's also a lot of talk of your siblings on that day so you could be hearing more from them and for some of you, you may have to work something out with your siblings teamwork is key but you may find yourself really in the leadership position of all of this um, I feel good about that in terms of the money coming in and what you're going to be able to do with it, sort of rebuilding your life. For some of you, I find you uh, with an opportunity on that day to get rid of debt. All right, so that would be excellent. On the 26th, I do have some heaviness, some heavy energy. You being introspective, needing to be quiet, kind of go inward, process some things. You seem to be watched over by a lot of... Um, paternal energy here on the other side, paternal spirits and your guides trying to help you to understand that if there are difficult situations, for most of you it seems like these are about relationships, there are difficult relationships in your life that you're exhausted from, they just aren't working, they've become toxic and you don't want to release them, I think that it's time you start really analyzing how long can I continue to do this and come up with a game plan about going forward. Now I also have on the 31st, 
It's almost like the 30th and the 31st are connected on this topic. You could be hearing word of some type of a promotion, an opportunity to get out, an opportunity to get out of either a contract, um, someone who had upper hand over you, whether that be like a landlord, a business owner, a boss, you may get that written word, that certificate of completion, or that signing out, um, a paper allowing you once and for all in an official capacity to shift from where you've been into something brand new. I want to say take advantage of it. Go. You remind me of a wild horse. You know, when the pen opens, it just goes. It doesn't even think because you've been waiting on it for a while. Okay, so a closure to that cycle. I think it looks great. Sag, uh, good luck with everything. Um, I want to say that I will see you in August. And I hope to see you for my Ask a Medium live show on Facebook and Instagram, which is going to be again on the 16th at Ivy Angela Rivera. Take care.